All right, guys, this is a video on the HDB 68. Um, the whole purpose of this video is, um, well, I just want to test out the max power chamber in this from criticalsituations.com. Um, I got a 35 joule increase with it on my HDR 50 with the long rifle setup. Uh, it's 143 joules. And with the HDR 68, um, with just a 12 gram CO2 in this, I got 58 joules. Plus with the HDB barrel on it too, but it's, it's still a big increase. But um, the whole purpose I'm trying to do is blow the O-ring out of this. Um, I want to get the O-ring. I have new O-rings I want to replace it with. So um, I'm going to shoot these, try and get the O-ring out. But at the same time, I'm going to test the power on this. See if we can get a couple shots off before the O-ring blows out. But yeah, I just want to put a better O-ring in because these were the first replacements we got. 9mm outer diameter, 6mm inner diameter, 1.5 thickness. Now they're, the new ones are 9.3 OD, 6.1 ID, and 1.6 thickness. So yeah, we're going to try them. I got, a, I got a couple Grindberg jewels in here. I also got, if you notice down here, this pipe. It's a... It's a it's a breech loading magazine I added on. So yeah, you just basically take this and then you can load your balls down there in this slot here. So it gives you an extra 14 rounds. So you have 30 in total, but to run a setup like this, you're going to need a, a carbon first strike tank because it holds like a third more air than the 13 CIs. But yeah, anyways, um, I'm going this way right now. I got this plugged into the back, but you can either take this and put it down here and put the tank in the back with a stock on it. But either way, I like this setup too because it's very convenient. Even though the tank looks like it's in the way, it's not in the way at all. Like, no matter how you shoot, if you shoot from the hip, it's totally out of the way. You can swing it around any direction. Like, it's just, it's absolutely not in the way at all. But some people don't like it, but... I mean, just to quickly grab it and to get some out of your house fast, I mean, it's powerful and it's it's going to work. This thing's a beast. Just stock pulling the valve block out, you'll get, this is a Gen 1, by the way, with the Gen 1 rubber detent. But this is 50 joules, which is CO2, 85 joules with HPA, 1100, 72 with 850, and around 70 or 75 with 88 gram CO2. But anyways, yeah, let's just, I want to try this out. <clears throat> yeah. I'm just going to set this table up here. <clears throat> okay. Get the light on. Let me just arrange this camera. All right, I'm shooting into a barrel trap down there with Kevlar backing. And I got 8 gram Grindberg jewels I'm going to try. Um, yeah, I'm expecting the O-ring to blow out within the first couple shots with this setup because it's so much air pressure. Um, yeah, but let's give it a go and see what happens here. Could be a leak, could be anything. <clears throat> All right, we are gassed up. <sighs> Let's see what happens here. Four sixty four. Four forty one. Four forty one, four sixty six, four twelve, and empty. All righty, so let me just degas this.
Alrighty then. Let me just set this down. Out of the way. How is that number a review? Four sixty six. Four sixty six. Hmm. Let's check the FDS on that. I think that's around eighty something jewels. <clears throat> Yeah, that's strange. It's only around 80 joules. I'm getting 85 without that. Very strange numbers with this. Um, I was expecting to crack over 100 with that. Um, yeah, that's very odd. I don't understand. Um, when I plugged it into my HDR setup, I was getting around 119 joules. I plugged that in and instantly jumped 143 joules. Um, every other marker I've tested it in has a major increase. But this is very odd because the HDR is really powerful without that. I was getting 85 joules without it. Um, maybe I'm going to switch the configuration around. I'm going to put the tank in the back and the thing in the bottom and try again, but... Realistically, that shouldn't matter because the air chamber is the same no matter how you set it up. It's the same volume. Um, then again, this one here doesn't have a short pin in it. But I noticed the short pin is not really a power giver. It's just... I find it, it just has less rubbing on your O-rings. Um, it's really good for HPA for performance-wise, but I don't see it in any of my setups doing much for power but i don't know maybe i do have a short pin for the hdb maybe i will try it out in there but i do have one in my hdr that i got the 143 joules out of and my hdp that i got 120 joules out of that also has a short pin and uh the hdr 68 doesn't i tried it with the 88 gram co2 and got huge numbers in the 12 gram co2 i got 58 joules so we know it's working. It's a major increase. But uh, the HDR68 does not have a pin in it. Have a shortened pin. So, yeah, anyways, guys. I, I don't know what to say, but I was expecting well over 500 FPS. Probably close to 100 joules plus. But anyways, guys. Um, we'll get back to this video and see what we can make out of it. Because that max power chamber should have gave at least a 30, at least a 30 joule increase compared to the numbers I got with the other gun. But yeah, anyways guys, you guys stay safe and take care as always.